Hi everyone. Um, let's do it again. Sorry. Hi everyone. This is your best friend Charlie Dior. Let's talk fashion. All right. Welcome back to part two. Yes. The next celebrity on the list is. Dolores from Pomanso, aka Delay. Yes, Delay is a media presenter. Um, this dress is by Nikkei GH, styled by Queen Leo 26. The big shock, okay, came down our timeline wearing this piece, this corset piece can take dress. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? <laughs> What do you think, oh, because I'm still deciding on whether or not I like this dress. This look caught a lot of your attention, okay? It went viral. Um, she decided to wear this dress to celebrate Ghana 67th Independence Day. And for me, with this dress, there's a, there's a disconnection. There's a disconnection here. I can't seem to connect the corset piece with the rest of the dress. It's a big no for me. I mean, I was really going back and forth with, with my producer with this look. And I, I, I think this look is unfinished. It, it's missing something. It's missing the accessories. It's missing the stones. Where are the stones? Delay, where are the stones? Did the delivery of the stones delay? Delay, delay, delay? Did it delay? <laughs> Delay herself looks good in this dress. Yes, she's a beautiful lady. I've met her. I met her um, in December. And she's really, like, like the camera doesn't do her justice. She is such a doll in person. And I don't think this look or this picture or this entire ensemble did her justice. It's an okay look. It's forgettable. You know, you're supposed to go all the way with the look. And this just looks very unfinished for me. You know, but then again, too, if she does stones, then it, then it goes into the engagement piece. You know, like I said, like engagement to wear for fashion like nowadays, it will go into that. But it, it just, I, I would rather that than this. This just looks very unfinished to me. Um, we reached out to the stylist and the designer, and they said that they wanted to um celebrate the independence with this the KT, and that was their inspiration. And for me, is that all? Is that all? Because you need more. You need more. You need to tell a story. And this is not telling any kind of story to me. It's not. It's missing something. It's unfinished. It's unfinished. Are we going to burn this look? No, we're not going to burn it. We're not going to buy it either. We, we will borrow this look. Take it back to the designer for them to finish the look. <laughs> Next, we have... Brother Sami, brother Sami, who is a gospel artist, but listen, let me tell you something about brother Sami. Brother Sami keeps playing with us. He stays playing with us on the social media platforms. Okay, if he's not dressing up like this, he is remixing the circular music into gospel music, and he keeps playing with us. Don't you dare tell me that these jeans are bomba jeans. They are not. You know, and and, 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 and and this kind of looks pisses me off. It pisses me off because the pressure that women go through to present themselves. I'm talking about hours and hours and hours of them sitting in the makeup chair to get their makeup done, their hair done, eyelashes, they are putting on heels, they are corseting th themselves, they are wearing this, they are wearing that to present themselves in a certain way. And all he does is do this. And he shows up like this. And in his head, what dress it? In his head, he is the best dressed. And I don't want to make this a tribal thing, but looking at him, taking a, just a one, uh, uh, taking a look at him, you could tell where he's from and where he's going. And that pisses me off. One of the top gospel artists we have in Ghana, and this is how you show up, wearing a white beater, singlets underneath this uh, uh, lace. And this Togo fitted jeans and Accra Cycles loafers 
what are you doing? This is pure evil. This to me is pure evil. The, the, the girls for fashion are offended. Brother Sammy keeps playing with them. The, 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 the girls of fashion, they are angry at Brother Sammy. <laughs> what do you have on? Take it off. Because we, we will be burning the entire look from head to toe. We will be burning everything. Nothing works here. Not the glasses, not the watch, not the jeans, not the lace. Nothing works here. We, we will be burned in the love. <laughs> oh, brother Sammy. Oh, jokes on jokes on jokes. Okay, next we have Camille Abdul, aka Nana Romeo Willy Willy, who is a broadcast journalist and a radio host. And let me tell you, Nana Romeo is becoming more and more well known in the radio world. And it's really nice to see. It's really, really nice to see. I follow him on social media and I really do love his content. And when it comes to fashion, he puts in effort. And that's all I ask for. That's all I ask for. Put in the effort. And when you put in that effort, it shows. And it shows that you care. And when you care about your look, that means you care about the fans because you're giving that quality content. Oh, we're right. Is that, is, 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 it, is it that hard? It can be that hard. And the word, once again, is effort. Put in effort. He was sported in this casual look on the ground. And sometimes pairing a, a white sneakers with your kaftan will, 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 is a trick of, get, of giving us a casual look. If you want to give us a casual look with the kaftan, all you have to do sometimes is to pair it up with a nice, you know, pair of sneakers and you're good to go. Is this giving us high fashion? No, it's not giving us high fashion, but it's giving us a look. He cares. It's iron. Okay. It's well presented. It's well tailored. We did reach out to the designer and uh, the designer explained that um, Nana Romeo do travel a lot. So they wanted to create something what, um, something that would be easy wear for him. And also, um, as soon as you see him in the look, you will know exactly where he's from and his roots. And I think they nailed it with this piece. Nana Romeo looks healthy he looks good you know face skin body you know you know a simple up and down this works for someone that works in radio this works kudos to the designer kudos to the stylist and kudos to nana romeo we will be buying this look <laughs> next we have oh let me save let me save mm. next we have Samira Baumia. Samira Baumia is currently the second lady of Ghana. Okay. <laughs> this dress is by Pistic GH, makeup by MZ Lawson. Um, so big shout out to them. And I also wanted to give a big shout out to Twins Don't Beg. Twins Don't Beg posted a video of this look um, during the Ghana 67 Independence Day. And I requested a, a still photo and shortly after they posted this photo, so I want to say a big, big shout out to them, to them for this um, image. The delectable and dignified lady of the Republic of Ghana, Samira, showed up on our timeline um, uh, during the 67th Independence Day with this gorgeous dress. This, gorgeous, this is how you represent the culture. This is how you represent your region. This is how you represent your entire country listen when it comes to the second lady okay you can say whatever that you want one thing you cannot take from her is her style she is telling us that she can dress and can still still perform her national duty <laughs> at the same time she is telling us that she can do so within this outfit we need to have a, a, a whole fashion face off between all the second ladies and the first ladies of the world best dress aka samira befa samira befa samira baumia will take the crown okay <laughs> i don't understand how she manages to do this she always manages to uh, uh, cover up you know cover up being very modern and also sultry at the same time that's talent that's a skill that's a skill the head wrap the length of the, 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 the skirt, the shape of the top, 
or my texture or my silhouette or my structure she is giving us everything that we need we want and we desire big shout out to the designer big shout out to the stylist you killed it samira you killed miss samira you know your excellency you killed this dress <laughs> and because of that we will be buying it with a lot of e-lady and a lot of dollars <laughs> <laughs> All right, next we have Kofi Jamar. Kofi Jamar is an artist um, and also the king of Kumerica music. Okay. <laughs> oh, yes. So I love Kofi Jamar. Kofi Jamar, um, I love him. You know, I follow him on social media. I love his content. He's such a hard working um, artist. But I don't understand this whole situation going on. He has a, a, a new song out called Bold. And I think, you know, during the press tour and the press run for, for to promote the song, he's getting into his whole cowboy era. Cowboy Jamar. Jamar. Oh, Yari. <laughs> oh, ho, po, po. And I still see, see, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I don't like it. I mean, I mean, the stylist tried to explain the entire look, and I'm not. I'm still not. I'm still confused. This is so confusing. This outfit is more. I don't know which is more confusing. This outfit or some George stands on the LGBT situation in Ghana. I don't know wh wh which is more confusing. <laughs> this looks like you know he watched Toy Story, okay, and decided to dress up like the main character. It, 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 it look it feels like you know a, a career school play <laughs> it looks like you know he went to the theater department the costume department and, uh, and, and brought this look the red vest and the white shirt just reminds me of a ketchup bottle it, there's some, it's not working you missed the point you failed the assignment the hat the glasses the bandana the thick gloves it is not working for you, Jamar. You need to sit, have a sit down with your team again and rebrand. We need to rebrand. We need to rebrand. We need to we need to work on what will work for you. And this is not this is not it. You are getting lost in the source. What you see? I like you that's why i'm giving you that's why i'm being so hard on you because you can do better than this because of that we we will be born in this long <laughs> all right next we have Kwesi Arthur. Kwesi Arthur is an artist um <laughs> are Ghanaians sleeping on Kwesi Arthur? Are we done with Kwesi Arthur? Because Kwesi Arthur, you know, in my humble opinion, he hasn't been the same since he broke up with our very own good sister. Yeah. Um, get it back to yourself after your relationship. What relationship? Your relationship with Kwesi Arthur. Who's our relationship with him? You, you mentioned... I never mentioned his name, child. Y'all put them pictures up. <laughs> ah! He looks good. In this picture, he looks good. The pieces, all the pieces work. He's given us such a casual look this is this, this let me tell you if you walk the street uh, you know in new york you are bound to find someone in a look like this this whole piece is work i like the hat i like the the the, the coat the bag the thick sole sneakers it all works it all works in this instance i like this it's a swag it's a swag you know you know christopher do have swag he does and we can see he's standing by the halal truck ordering i wonder what he was ordering because when i go back to the halal stand i want me chicken over rice with lettuce and you know extra white sauce <laughs> oh we need to get the fly with the other bag and i wonder what it will take i need to make some phone calls mm -hmm. <laughs> For a casual look, I think this works. This is such a swag. You can you can definitely see people like this walking the streets of New York, Soho, wearing something like this. So for now, I think this works. 
we will borrow this look. We will borrow this look from Chrissy Arthur. Next, we have Diana Asamoa. Diana Asamoa is a gospel artist. Um, this outfit was designed by my very own Kofi Akutia. We have spoken about Diana Asamoa several times on this show, and each time we speak about her, she keeps getting better and better and better and better. We spotted her um, wearing this 4D purple motif look for her show, Abba Father. And, um, you know, Diana Asamoa did not used to be like this. Old. She was that, you know, gospel artist in the corner. And right now, she's front and center. Oh yes, she is setting the bar for a lot of gospel artists right now. And I'm telling you, most of the gospel artists right now in Ghana, they are trying. They are right now trying to top this. But this right here is top notch. Oh yes. She absolutely slayed this entire outfit. She broke the internet with this look. Everybody was sending it to me. They were tagging everybody. Diana Samoa is currently Ghana Cinderella. She is currently Disney Princess. <laughs> the glam, the hair, the makeup, the look. She did that. You could tell this took the entire nation to it took the entire nation to create this piece. Hey! Mujimuho! <laughs> She looked amazing, beautiful. We had no other option than to reach out to the designer. And this, we've come to another segment of Defend Your Look. Hit it! <laughs> All right, so we did reach out to the designer and this is what he had to say about the entire piece. For Diana, as someone who effortlessly merges spirituality with style, this gown serves as a visual hymn symbolizing the vibrancy of her faith and the elegance of her presence. The rich hue of purple traditionally associated with royalty and spirituality envelops her in an era of regal sophistication. The floral motif inspired the beauty of nurture, reflects the musician's deep connection to the divine and her appreciation for the wonders of creation. With its figure flattering, silhouette, and subtle hint of sparkle, this gown exudes a timeless elegance that transcends trends. It's a testament to the musician's unwavering commitment to staying true to herself while embracing the beauty of the world around her. As she steps onto the stage, bathed in the soft glow of spotlight, the gown becomes more than just a piece of clothing. It's a symbol of her journey, her faith, and her unwavering dedication to spreading joy and inspiration through her music. And with each note she sings, she brings to light the beauty and the majesty of her purple floral gown, leaving her audience mesmerized and uplifted. Bravo, bravo to everyone involved in this. The outfit made by Kofi Akutia, the makeup by Ernie K. Splendor. You guys did your thing in this look. Then as someone, you look amazing, you look beautiful. And because of that, we will be buying this look with a lot of dollars. <laughs> yes! And there you have it. We have come to the end of another exciting episode of the Fashion Review Show. Please stay subscribed. Okay, most subscribers subscribe to the channel. Um, I will be in the comment section. So drop your comments below. I want to hear from you as well, okay? I'll be reading all the comments. Follow me on all the social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat. Stay blessed. I love you guys for watching. And remember, if you do not want me to talk about it, then don't wear it. Bye! <laughs>